All right, so we're gonna go back to the running example that we've been using, and now we're just gonna add a extra variable, which is a dummy variable for age. And we're gonna ask, does age also, on top of party ID, have a different and statistically differentiable impact on our outcome support for war? We'll write our model in the exact same way, but you'll notice we have our second beta with our dummy variable, and again, just as a reminder, our dummy variable is going to be 1 if an individual is above 53, and if they're between 18 to 53, they'll have a 0. And it'll be really easy for us to write the fitted model with a dummy variable because, again, since one of these will be 0 or 1, it'll just cancel that coefficient out. So what we're assuming here is that the effect of party is the same for both groups. So you can think about it as two different models for both groups that have the same slope, but just different intercepts. And this will make more sense because next time when we talk about interactions, we're then going to say they can have different slopes as well. But we'll start off just by having D equals zero for the 18 to 53 year olds. And again, we're just gonna cancel out that last coefficient. And for individuals that are above 53, the fitted regression line is going to include that second beta coefficient. So let's go ahead and do this in R. What I'm showing you in line two is just how to create a dummy variable for age. So the function cut is going to take the vector of age, which is in reg df, and all we're gonna say is break that into two. So R is gonna naturally know where the mean is and it's gonna split essentially the variable into two groups and if it belongs to one group it'll assign a zero versus a one so essentially setting up exactly what we want a dummy variable then we can just add that into our regression equation and estimate that in r using our lm function we then get back our estimated coefficients we can see that a couple of things changed. One, our intercept is a little bit different. Uh, the estimate for our beta one, the relationship between party ID and our outcome hasn't really changed too much. And we can see that our R squared is pretty much the same. So by adding in this additional variable, we aren't explaining too much additional variance in our outcome. Now that we have our estimated coefficients, I want to plug them into our fitted regression line and interpret those coefficients as well. So we'll just start at the beginning with our intercept, which is negative 0.03, and we can interpret that as the predicted or expected y value when, and I'll give you a second to think about this. So the intercept is the predicted value of y when both covariates are equal to zero. So when party ID is equal to zero and when age is equal to zero. So when we have a really young individual. So the other way that we can say that is since we know, or maybe you don't, but I'll explain the way that the party ID variable works is it runs from zero to 10 with zero being strong Democrat. So this is the predicted value of support for a young person that's a strong Democrat. And that's if we calculated it out 0.11 or 11% support, which makes sense, right? A really low amount of support. Now, if we look at the first estimated coefficient, which is 0.14, this is the slope associated with party ID when we control for age group. So controlling or accounting for age group, holding that constant, a one unit increase in party ID is on average associated with a 0.14 increase in support for the war, or 14% increase, which is pretty dramatic, right? The second coefficient, the one associated with age, is the effect when, and I'll let you think about this for a second, it's the effect of age when we're controlling for party ID. So essentially, we're holding party ID constant and just changing what age group an individual would go from on average, right? So we're estimating the effect of the comparison between the younger group and the older group. Another way to put it is controlling for party ID, the younger group exhibits on average 0.05 fewer 
percent support than the older group or about five percent right that's the inverse of what this is saying we could also express it by saying controlling for party id the older group exhibits on average five percentage points greater support than the younger group both work because again we only have two categories we can then actually plot this fitted line for both the younger and the older group. So we'll start with the younger group, which again, since we calculated this as the fitted line, all we do in R is essentially have a regression line with that intercept and that slope. We can do the exact same thing for the older group and then compare between the two, which again, when we look at it visually, we can see that the only thing that's changed is the starting point, the y-intercept, between the age groups. There's not a shift in the slope. The effect is the, is the same. It's estimated to be the same. But the only thing that's changed is the difference between the y-intercepts.